Hmm? What would you do? If your baby said, what would you do? Hmm? What would you do? Would you would you P.O.P. them? Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, every now and again, I get a bit of inspiration because I watch quite a few different things and I go, you know what, I'm just going to throw it all into one great big video. So today we've got a mashup of the different, uh, well, some newer people that I cover, some older people that I cover, but I'm going to leave everything chaptered. So just go and skip to whatever tickles your fancy. So in no particular order, we have got the Scarlet and Tiana case that happened <laughs> not that long ago was it a couple of weeks ago we basically had the mum tiana where she was in a lot of hot water because it was proposed and was it wasn't really proven that she basically flipped her daughter off however there was a lot of aggression in that video there's a lot of murky waters a lot of it's weird like behind the scenes i did a whole video on it so please go check that out. I will leave that linked um, where it goes into more detail. So we're going to talk about, you know, talk about them because I've recently come across some newer bits of material and some older bits of material that make me really question what is going on. So we're going to be talking about that. We'll also be talking about the Muck 5 Circus. Now, I actually did a whole video. I've done a few videos on them. So once again, I'll leave them linked as well. However, I didn't realize, but they have actually got a whole channel for their is their daughter eight i don't know i'm confused i thought you had to be 13 to set up an account but we're going to get into that as well we're also going to get into the eight passengers because they have been saying some things shock horror ruby and jody mostly jody has been saying some outrageous things which we're going to be getting into and last but not least we're also going to be talking about brianna k and her latest celebration of her new life i will say so we've got some positivity coming our way with that one but yeah let us just get into the very first people we're going to be covering which is the scarlet and tiana ongoing saga and very ongoing saga now after the drama which happened which basically showed tiana getting extremely angry and heated at her daughter um it got really quite out of control some people say that she was um putting a middle finger up at her kid i personally am not convinced that she did however i think people are massively missing the point of that whole exposing video because she was already pretty angry she was displaying some pretty angry signals just it wasn't fair there's also a video circulating which i've already touched upon with her basically saying that you know her daughter's her main source of income and if you know she can go off find another job but it's like your child's so young they do not understand her child's six which i was shocked to actually find that one out um it's a lot of pressure to put on a small child anyway she then came out with this video which was basically her trying to do, do damage control now in this video which i've already dissected i'm not going to be re-dissecting it um in this video she does say that she the that she's a yeller that she yells at her child that she doesn't spank however she has spanked her child three times which to me doesn't make any sense you hit or you don't hit i personally don't hit i don't believe in that sort of punishment okay i'm a yeller i don't spank so i yell basically Every once in a while, this girl has maybe got three spankings in her whole entire life and she's almost six, okay? So, um, Scarlett don't listen. Now, this video actually got recommended to me in my TikTok and check out this clip that someone had managed to screenshot of a live that Tiana was doing. Now, Tiana does a lot of these kind of lives, but just listen to what she had to say. Huh? What would you do to your babies if they didn't listen? Hmm? What would you do? <laughs> if your baby said... What would you do? Hmm? What would you do? I don't know. Would you, would you P.O.P. them? Just your tonight. Now, I don't know about you guys, but just that whole vibe I just felt was off. And granted, I've only caught literally a screenshot of that. But once again, what's with all the aggression? I don't understand. Is she, there's a, Every clip I've seen of her, she's just got a little bit of aggression. And I'm just, I'm just anyway... Besides, by the by, is that implying that would she hit them? Would she pop them if their babies cry? Do, do you see what I mean? I'm just, I don't know. I just thought that that clip was a bit interesting. Considering she did turn around and say, you know, I don't hit my child. I only yell at them. It's like, well, in here, you're sort of like, if I said that 
to one of my children, they'd be confused. They'd be like, well, what? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just thought it was a bit of a weird thing to say to a nearly six-year-old, if I'm, if I'm going to be completely honest. It just goes against everything that she was saying in her sort of quote-unquote apology, not but not really apology video. Yeah, anyway, what, what do you guys think about that? I just thought it was a little bit strange. I just don't... It was a lot of aggression, just once again, I've already said this, but just a lot of aggression. Like, what, what is all this aggression going on? And stop using your child to make money. I get asked this question a lot, and it actually... Mm. So Scarlett is four. Um, Walker is 16. And Reese is 13. They don't want to be filmed on their mom and their sister's account. I swear to you, why is this woman so aggressive? So I, th this was actually, this, well, th this must be a little bit old by now. What, like one or two years? I think her kid, like she already said in a, uh, in a newer, um, in the newer vlog, that her, her daughter is nearly six. So this was a little bit old, but can you not see that, that, that your other kids don't want to feature on your channel? Uh, the only reason why your daughter probably wants to is because she's very young and doesn't understand the repercussions of other people seeing it, your peers seeing it, it might be embarrassing one day. She can't quite comprehend this. There's a reason why the teenagers don't want to be involved with it and it's because it might be embarrassing. Y you might put out something they don't want out there in the world, but you have no problem doing that with your daughter who doesn't understand this yet so that's the reason why you use her just what i thinking people would say to me like you can't say that like you know people used to be called retarded and there was no negative connotation to that but someone or some group put negative connotation onto retarded and some of you are cringing like oh my gosh i can't believe she just said that Okay, so we've got a lot to unpack here. So we've got Ruby and Jodie once again in hot water about things that they're saying. Because I just don't, I just don't think, well, they do obviously think before they speak. But whatever they're thinking just is not washing with a lot of people. Anyway, so this got flagged to my attention. Where Jodie was basically trying to say that the use of the R word should be allowed because it used to be okay but now all of a sudden there's negative connotations to it now without going into detail about why you shouldn't use this word and da 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 da, da there is reasonings as to why certain words which were allowed which are not used anymore because they are offensive is because um because they relate to a certain uh can you say demographic of people like you know you have different words without actually saying the words which were used back in the day but now you would never dream of saying it because it's not appropriate it will offend a whole culture or it will offend a whole you know, demographic of people you you see what i mean do you, do you see what i mean without actually getting into these words now the funny thing is with all of this is that these are the people ruby Ruby was literally the one who went crying to the principal's office because they were dancing to Low by Flo Rider and she didn't like the words that were used in the song because she said they were, what was it, promiscuous and they made them shake their hips. Some in a bit of that. There's no good stanza in that song. It's all lustful. It's all suggestive. It's all seductive. It's all um, perverse. And do you see the problem? Anyway, so her and Kevin, her maybe ex-husband, who really knows at this point, were complaining. They did they did a whole video log on the fact that the choice of words in this rap song were not appropriate. Yet here is Jody just so casually throwing and flinging around this R word, saying like, oh well it doesn't matter. It's like maybe because it doesn't offend you. Maybe that's the reason why, but they, they pick and choose when things offend them. If anything offends them, like song lyrics, they will jump to it and they'll say, no, this is outrageous. Da, 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 da. But because this doesn't necessarily offend them, they are fighting back with it because they want to be able to use these words. They just want to be able to say whatever they want to say, whatever the hell their nonsense they're going to spout, they'll have their few... The few adoring fans, which are far, far, far and few at the minute, um, 
and people like me will continue to get annoyed by it but you know whatever half of their stuff makes me giggle because it's so outrageously ridiculous and then the other half of it a bit like this and other things which they've said which i have gone into detail on before just make me scratch my head and go what what are you guys doing like really really moving towards that day by day and i think we're also just both kind of moving forward um i think that's a question <laughs> I've been asked a lot lately because um, I did post kind of like a wrap up of the year. Um, you guys pay very close attention to detail. <laughs> That's something for me I'm going to hold a little close to me. It's something I'm enjoying and taking slowly and just sort of enjoying for myself at the moment. Um, the kids have not met who I'm dating yet, so I feel like it would be inappropriate for me to share any more um, than that. But I know, you know, Adam's dating as well, and I think for both of us, like I want him to be happy and I want myself to be happy because ultimately if we're happy, that's going to make our kids happy and be the best thing for them. Hey, I feel like we finally got some good news. Okay, so I have roughly been following the whole Brianna K thing ever since they moved back from Hawaii and then they were selling their house but they didn't want to say they sold their house but then they were then getting a divorce but then they didn't want to say they were getting a divorce. So I've known about this. I've known about this pretty much this whole entire time despite not really... I have not really, I don't follow her massively, but I just sort of know the ins and outs. I know that Oakley YouTuber Headlines has covered her quite a bit recently and uh, I'm not going to be talking about just the, the new boyfriend and that. I don't really care. Um, I, well, I'm just happy to see that she's now actually pushing forward on this whole you know, single mum content. I've seen the vlog. She's starting to do it. Obviously, she needed her time to be able to gather her thoughts and actually say what's going on, which I'm glad that she has done that video because I think even though obviously nobody is entitled to know this information, uh, no one is entitled to know it. I do think for a little while she was definitely, you know, clickbaiting the vlogs. A lot of people knew, but she didn't want to address it. And I think it's difficult because you end up sort of if you're a lifestyle vlogger especially it's one of those things that you can't hide from especially if your ex-husband used to be a part of the vlogs it was just, do you know what i mean i this is this is the reason why at least because i i'm going through a separation at the minute although luckily we weren't married um because that would have been a lot more messier uh and more expensive but you know um but, you know i'm not necessarily a lifestyle i'm not a lifestyle vlogger i don't document what i'm doing all the time i throw in some little vlogs here and there but i'm i can be very much in control over what i decide to post and i've decided to be as open as i can be whilst also respecting the wishes of you know my children and my ex-partner you know i've got to respect everyone else's it wasn't just me breaking up it was a split you know it's two people you know i can't be can't be divulging information willy-nilly do you know what i mean but then that's the thing of lifestyle vloggers you know you've always kept people in the loop and then all of a sudden one day it's obvious what's going on and then you're not saying anything your audience starts to get annoyed the worst thing you can then do is start clickbaiting which i think is the route that she was going down for a little bit um, but now she's actually done a video where she's explained and she said, no, look, we moved on, we've gotten a divorce. And she's now actually started doing the single mum vlogs, which is something that you know, as long as she's, you know, as long as she's not showing her kids too much. I've never really been the biggest Brianna Kay fan, so I can't really tell you how much she puts of her kids out there. I really don't know. But I do think there is a way of being able to vlog uh, what you're doing as a mum whilst not having your kids on camera. What I do find absolutely wild though is because I don't really keep up with the whole Brianna Kay thing, I just know kind of what, what I've known and what a lot of people have known for a little bit. How are people finding information out about her new boyfriend? I don't get it. I really don't understand unless they've actually come on the vlogs. Why are people going and like finding all this information out? I don't really guess it. I don't know how people, I mean, I think she must have posted a picture but I just I don't know I think everyone should just leave it alone now I think everyone's gotten the answer everyone's you know the people that wanted her to say have now gotten an explanation and then the people who don't care either way I suppose just carry on not caring either way <laughs> do you know what I mean I feel like everyone is now satisfied and Brianna looks happy Brianna's going on about things let us not just mess like let can we not can we not go contacting new people I just I just don't see why it's like it's like what I was saying about Alicia and people contacting the bio 
family members and I'm just like what is happening everyone just 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 keep just look look at what people post online on YouTube and just focus on that let's not go and go off trying to find other people now the muck five circus family family circus whoever whatever I've actually spoken about them quite a lot recently because people keep on wanting to hear more and more about them. People who don't know them are like, please talk more about them. And people that do know them are like, come on, like, you need to talk about this and this and this. So I do, I do get pulled up. But I was actually sent, I was actually sent a link to their kid who they name as It. Her name is actually Isabel. Uh, they do nickname her It. They do call her in It. I don't like it. I don't agree with it. I have, I have done previous videos. So once again, I will link that. Um, she has a YouTube channel. Now, the, the only saving grace in all of this is the fact that the YouTube channel is made for kids. So the comments are turned off. And obviously, the reach isn't going to be as great because they've got it limited. However, and it looks like it obviously is an account run by the mum. However, I just think this is weird. I just think it's weird. If you're not old enough to operate your own YouTube channel, why have you got a YouTube channel? I swear the age limit is meant to be 13. Isn't this child like eight, seven, eight, nine? I don't even know how old she is. She's young, very young. And I'm just shocked. I just don't understand why. Just wait. Is this meant to be she's like the favored one from from the fan base because they think of her as this like wild card child and Oh, they, they film her getting up to all sorts of stuff. Anyway, I don't agree with it. And I, all, I massively don't agree with her having a YouTube channel so that people can just go, you know, th just some of the titles, some of the titles, you know, once again, not even addressing her by her real name, addressing her as it. And it's just, it's actually been around for a little while. It's been around for about two years or something. And I've never come across it before. I think because it's made for kids, it isn't pushed as heavily by YouTube, but that is quite literally the only saving grace about all of this. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. If you're not old enough to have a YouTube channel and you need to have it, if you need to have your account ran by your parents um, because you can't operate it yourself, you shouldn't have a YouTube channel. Stop trying to get an extra bit of income from your kids and just let it go because it's obviously not produced, not recorded, not edited, not anything by this child. So why is it even here? Like YouTube, answer me that one. Why is this allowed? Why is this even here? Well, okay, that, that was a lot of different topics. Well, four, but it felt like a lot. It felt like a lot was going on in this video. So I do apologize. But if you like it, then I'm extremely grateful because I do like filming these every now and again. Just keep it nice, short and sweet and just cover some people that I cover because sometimes trying to put everything into making a 15 20 minute long video about one topic i don't like repeating myself too much and sometimes you kind of have to do that to make a video that long and i don't really like doing it i just like being able to natter and talk about a bunch of different things um because i'm like you guys you know we're, we're all the same we, we all like browsing youtube so yeah i just thought i'd compile it all i hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i will catch up with you guys in the next video